Hello. Welcome to November. I have been meaning for days and days and days to finally sit down and film my, I guess, fall favorites, October favorites kind of video. I think the last one I did, I only have one up on my channel. I think I called it magic of the month and just stuff that I really loved this month. We're going to be talking about food and drinks and music and books and just stuff that I've really loved. It's been really nice to kind of have this video in the back of my mind all month and thinking about it because it's really made me take deeper pleasure and find deeper meaning and find things to enjoy and to be my favorite things, if that makes sense. What in my life can I translate and talk to other people about that I have put like my love into and that I've just found um, that's made me happy. I hope you're cozy and calm and ready to talk about some good stuff because we're gonna start with the good stuff, food. <laughs> I'm really trying to bring winter back because today's a very hot day, but I've got my blueberry tea in my winter mug, um, as well as cinnamon Irish cream burning in the background. So hopefully it'll bring the snow back um, because I really want it to come back. Some food that I consumed in the month of October that just like, I loved it so much. And uh, it's something I've kind of started making a bit more recently. And I definitely will now buy every single time I go to the grocery store, if I'm out of it is gnocchi. I love it. There's like three main ways I've been eating it. Number one has been with this vegan cheese sauce made out of cashews, nutritional yeast, and spices. It is so, so good. And then I've also loved eating it with like tomato sauce or marinara sauce. And then lemon and garlic is the one that's probably the easiest because I just use some vegan butter, some lemon, some garlic, some oil, and it's just so good. So gnocchi has been like my go-to um, meal when like I don't know what to make because it's really, really easy to make as well. I've also been loving these ginger snaps. I'm currently out of them, but I'm probably gonna buy them again. This time I chose to try the one that is lemon flavored, although they have orange and vanilla and original. Um, they're just so good. This is a brand from Sweden. Are they called Peppercakor? Ginger snaps are some of my favorite kinds of cookies. So I'm really happy that I found these again because for a while I couldn't find them at the store, but then I found them at a different store, so all good. I'd highly recommend if you have this brand in your food consuming vicinity. I was getting coffee at the grocery store this one day and I saw this bag, it's from Starbucks and it just sounded amazing. I believe it, it yes, it is a limited edition coffee formula but man it was so good while it lasted uh they don't have it in stores anymore right now i don't know if they're bringing it back because they've just come out with like their christmas flavors so very sad but but it is the maple pecan flavored ground coffee it was just incredible i can still smell it the ghost of coffee passed and it's so, it was so so good it was sweet it was light it was flavorful this ground coffee with oat milk was just all right, moving on into my favorite tea of the month. It was actually chai. The one I have is decaf, and I think it's the Stash brand, the company Stash. Um, I've been meaning to get more and more into chai. More often than not, I just have it without any milk. But with this chai that I got this time, um, I've been having it more with oat milk and cinnamon and sometimes sprinkle a little bit of cocoa powder on top. And it's just, it's so, so good. I know definitely it's gonna be a drink that I'm gonna just like continue carrying on into the winter season because it was so good. Today it's not chai, today's actually blueberry tea, which I used to hate, but now I love. Also in these kinds of videos, I wanted to start incorporating kind of my favorite day like what was my favorite day of the month which speaking on what i said earlier also just motivated me to wake up and really think wow like is today gonna be the day that's my favorite day of the month is today gonna be the most beautiful day of this four week period in my life what is today gonna bring that i could judge to be the best thing um and it was just like a really really good happy healthy mindset that i had never thought about in that light like picking your favorite day of the month had never been something i'd even considered before until i was like wait what if i put that in these videos so like just that fact and that mindset and that hunting down of a day to call your favorite and to call the best day of that month was 
really good and something that was a favorite of this month as well. But the day in question that was my favorite turned out to be a very early day in the month when my mom and I, just the two of us, drove out um, outside of town into the country and went to pick apples at the apple orchard. We got so many apples. Uh, as you all know, I baked so many apple-y things this month that it was ridiculous. At least once or twice a week, I could be found in the kitchen trying to cobble my apples into something apple-y. But it was just such a nice day um, and we had so much fun. It was a beautiful, beautiful day and to get away from the noise of the city for a little bit and just going to the country has always been one of my favorite things. The day actually got even better though because my mom is terrible <laughs> with directions. She took a wrong turn but it was actually a right turn because we ended up at the beach and because of lockdown and because of what's been going on, I hadn't been to the beach all summer. I hadn't seen the lake all summer, which I don't think there's actually been a summer since I've been born that I didn't go to the beach or go to the lake at least once that summer. So I was feeling really, really sad about that in the back of my mind. But then we just like turned a corner and you know, when like that pure blue, that expanse of water just like hits you and you just see it and it's like there in the distance and it takes your breath away because maybe you hadn't seen it for a little bit or just when you look out at something, you can't see where it ends. Um, and it like always brings to mind that that Anne Carson quote, how, how does distance look? It was just so nice to just go and watch the waves and sit on the sand and walk down the beach. Um, it was a really, really lovely day. We took a lot of very silly and fun pictures and I'm just really, really thankful that I had that day with my mom because I loved it. And now I'm gonna cry for now. Kind of similar, I also wanted to think about what the most beautiful thing that I saw this month was. Um, and there's a couple that come to mind, definitely the lake and the water being one, and also just the apple orchard itself was very beautiful. But there was a different day when I went for a walk in the graveyard and it was during a period during that month when I was reading The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, so it was just perfect. It was beautiful. It was a drizzling day. It was raining. I had to bring an umbrella, and I was walking through, and at least the cemetery had some very, very old tombstones, and there was just this one, and I'd never seen anything like it at all, and it was so beautiful. I'll insert a picture here. It's very, very old, this one as well. I don't know what year, I believe from the 1800s and something, but it was a tombstone carved in the shape of a tree, mm -hmm. uh, a tree stump and with some roots and there was just moss growing all over it and lichen and it was just really, really beautiful. I'm sure we can all guess what my favorite book of this month was, but I just want to say it was such an, um, a nice experience reading this book, not only with my closest friends here on YouTube from the book club, but also all of you guys, and then to host and have a live show about this book that just means so much to me and seeing so many people love it and seeing how much it means to them as well. And it was just such a lovely experience. And like, just thinking about it kind of gives me goosebumps. Like it's such a nice experience reading a book with a whole, group of people hearing their thoughts and their feelings and seeing them love something that you just you love so much it was such a nice nice time that is the phantom of the opera it was one of our book club picks for october and as well i think in october i guess it was and i think it was really in october that i decided to start collecting editions of this book so i have a few here these are by no means all of them but i did recently get these two this one was given to me by carolyn and it is the beautiful um macmillan collector's library edition which is just so stunning i love it and then these two arrived a bit more recently at the end of the month and they are also beautiful this one i adore thank you so much i keep saying it but you guys all shared such lovely editions and so many people keep sending me um, more beautiful editions and they're like, Emma, 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 you should get this one too. Um, and I just, I really, really love it. So thank you all for sending me such beautiful ones. But this one is the vintage Heroes and Villains, I believe. I love the quotes on this one. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this one is the Bantam Classics edition. This one arrived most recently and I just love it. This was a copy I first read out of when I was little and um, yeah, so The Phantom of the Opera, it was a reread for me, many, many rereads over for me this month, but it was still my favorite book. It's still my favorite um, story of all time, and I just, I really, really had such a good reading experience um, and was so incredibly happy 
whenever I got to come back and pick up the book again because it was just so nice. Another really, really fun project that I got to kind of try and put together. I'm still working on it this month, but it is my little reading nook, which I... I decided to move all of my bookshelves and books. Uh, I think at the beginning of the month, I moved them all into the little corner and it's just really, really cozy. I put more twinkly lights. I recently put more prints up. I decided to leave the couch where it was because it's just really, really cozy sitting there in this little cloister and corner where books literally just like wrap around you. Um, it's so nice. I'm so glad I decided to move it there because I love the new setup. I love the new like filming background and location and I just love how cozy it really feels. That being said, my favorite and honestly probably the best purchase I've ever made in my life was going thrifting for this reading chair that I found. I have a vlog where I go and hunt down different chairs at thrift stores, but I was so lucky to find this chair at the second store that I went to and I just, I love it. It's in really good condition. It's very comfortable. I love how big it is. I love the back of it. I just love absolutely everything about it. It's like the Victorian reading chair of all my wildest dreams and I'm so happy I found it. It fits so nicely in the little corner in my book nook and I'm just really really thankful that I found it. I've always wanted a reading chair like that and um sometimes dreams do come true. Other things I'm just really, really grateful and happy and love so much this month was that we had our first snowfall of the season, our first official snowfall. Um, I think the last week of the month became so cold. Halloween was a freezing day and night. And then I think about a day or two later, it started to snow and I just, I loved it. I love watching the snow falling. The music of this month was definitely mostly my Halloween spooky autumnal playlist towards like the more Halloween-ish weeks of the month. It definitely got spookier. I've loved listening a lot to kind of vintage and older Halloween songs like from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, especially ones by Ruth Edding. I love all of her songs and her voice, especially Shine On. Harvest Moon. It's just the perfect Halloween autumn uh, song. For me, when I play music from like that era and also just like jazz in general, it just makes everything seem so much fancier and it just gives everything you do like this feel. Um, even just when you're making coffee in the morning, playing um, very sentimental jazz piano pieces just makes everything very, uh, that's what I'm looking for, magical. It just makes everything like 10 times easier to romanticize and um, that's just been really nice this whole year honestly just trying to make everything you do feel like it has manifold meaning um, has been a really good <laughs> strategy for me at least. A lot in October actually I was trying to sing and practice singing almost every day and so that entailed a lot of just Disney music listening and singing along to so that was kind of my weird jumbled up month in music. One of the coziest things was the blanket that was very kindly, well, the hooded blanket cloak, let's be specific, that was sent to me by Imposia, a company who very kindly reached out to me and asked if I wanted to uh, sample and have for the rest of my life a hooded blanket. And I just, I absolutely adored it. It's very heavy, very comfortable, very warm, perfect for um, the colder months that hopefully will be creeping in as soon as possible, please. The one that they sent me is called Austin's Garden, I think, and there's a lot of inspiration apparently taken from Pride and Prejudice and other Austin novels in the design, so I loved it. So I think that is mostly the magic of this month. It was definitely a month that had a lot of ups and downs as well. There were lots of days when I wasn't feeling very well and there's just been a lot that has gone on obviously in the world and of course in my own personal life that we all um, deal with and live through. So there's been a lot of good things this month and beautiful things and happy, sparkling, wonderful things. And also of course, a lot of not sparkling things. But honestly, this little segment has really just 
inspired me to look for a lot of good things and I'm hoping to carry that on into next month. Please let me know what your favorite thing of the month was. Um, I love getting recommended teas. I love your guys' tea recommendations as well as just food in general and music. I love your music recommendations. Also, if you would like to share your favorite day of the month or just something really amazing that happened to you, um, it's so nice just reading everyone's really, really beautiful, hopeful, nice comments about stuff that's going really well for them and that they're loving so please feel free to do that thank you so much for watching um this channel has also been an amazing thing in my life this month so i just want to say thank you again i hope you're all keeping well and i will see you very shortly in my next video so much love ciao